Hi guys. So I'm going to teach you um, what I personally think is the best secret to combat writer's block, uh, but it really shows up as useful in a lot of places when you're doing art. And that is to um, make something shitty, right? Just make, make something like, you know, with intention, not like your goal is to make it sound bad, but you're, you're committed to make something and your your quality level that you're um, demanding of yourself is shit, right? You, it, it can be horrible. It could be better than horrible, right? But just like be like, I'm going to make something, even if it's shitty, I'm just going to feel like pleased just for having made something shitty. And this could be like if you're struggling to practice sound design, if you're struggling to um, practice lyric writing, it really doesn't matter what it is, but if you're like, you know, I'm going to do something shitty, it really takes the pressure off, right? And, um, you know, we we get a lot of pressure in our own heads built up uh, as a musician every step of the way. You know, when we're a beginner, um, you know, we can feel like our stuff sucks, but at least we can be like, oh, it's okay, you know, I'm just starting out or whatever. And as we get better, um, even if we've written songs that we feel are really good in the past, right, we can feel burdened by that, like, now everything I make has to be fucking awesome because I made this one song that was so awesome. And uh, it can become hard to even sit down because you're like, how do I write something awesome? You know, and we forget that when we sat down to write those awesome things, we weren't thinking, I'm going to write something awesome. We were probably just, uh, you know, excited to get, you know, down to business and actually create something. So just creating something shitty is is a really great way to go. Um, you know, I remember I had writer's block for like a month, and uh, that's when I sort of just committed to go, you know, into my studio, throw down some shitty track and add some shitty layers to that shitty track. And, um, you know, 10 hours later or something, I'd been in the studio all day and I'd written one of my best tracks ever, which I'll play in the outro for you guys. Um, but it's called Jungle Out There, and it's you know, basically about, uh, you know, life being difficult. And that's kind of just the way it is, <laughs> you know, and appreciating it for what it, what it is, I guess, um, you know, and making the most of it while it sucks, uh, you know, or when it sucks, I guess. But it's, it's a great song, you know, it's um, reliably like, you know, a fan favorite. Um, it's, it's beautiful. It takes you on a journey, all this stuff. And I pretty much wrote it all in one day. Um, and it was easy. You know, because I was determined to write something shitty. And, you know, out of that came one of my best songs. And, I, you know, I can't promise those results every time, right? Because that, that kind of defeats the whole magic of this approach when you're just like, oh, you know, I'm going to say I'm going to write something shitty to write something awesome. You know, it can't be about that. You just got to make it about writing and just, like, learn to enjoy the process of writing itself and not really worry about anything but just... You know, at, at least for me, when I'm writing, everything is perfect. And it still sucks sometimes, and like it's frustrating, and all this up and down roller coaster moment by moment. You know, and sometimes things are awesome, and it's like, whoa, this is so good. And sometimes things are, you know, difficult. I'm like, I can't do anything right. Well, if you commit to making something shitty, you can't do anything wrong, right? Because you've, you've set the, the level at, you know, terrible is okay. So, um, you know, you're, you're just in action. And that's really what it comes down to is, is, you know, despite all this stuff that's going on in your head and like however difficult it might feel at certain times, is there's another part of you that if you can get in touch with that is like, man, I'm doing what I should be doing right now, right? And it doesn't matter if it's any good. It doesn't matter how it turns out, right? Like, that in and of itself is a victory and just like bask in that, just like love that feeling, that, that sense of satisfaction of I'm doing what I should be doing, right? You know you're honing your craft even as you're making mistakes, right? You know, something awesome might come out of it, right? And that's cool too. That's not even why, right? It's getting back in touch with that in the instant. It's fulfilling for the sake of doing it. Even if it doesn't feel fun in a particular moment, right? It can be immensely rewarding, right? And I don't know if you've ever played like Super Mario Brothers or something, but some of those levels are frustrating and they're so 
obnoxious and like you know you gotta like do all this crazy stuff. i'm talking about like the hard levels and stuff and like you know it's nice to get by those it's nice to beat the game without skipping past things and cheating right um there's a very rewarding aspect of doing something that's difficult despite the fact that it's difficult and succeeding or you know completing something even if you know it's not pleasant moment by moment per se and you know some of it's going to be awesome right some of it's going to like be some of the best feelings you ever had in your life and you know enjoy those too but uh you know don't don't let anything get in your way and don't don't worry about the future don't worry about the payoffs don't worry about the fans don't worry about any of that stuff uh just make music for music's sake you know and if you're struggling to make music because there's so much going on in your head about like you know is it going to be good enough like is this the type of music I should be making? Is this the whatever? You know, ignore all that and just make something shitty, you know, that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if no one hears it. It doesn't matter anything. Just commit to making something shitty, you know, make one shitty track, make one shitty sound, right? And just uh, be happy with that, you know? Um. Also, I've got a book recommendation for you guys, which is also really good for writer's block and just all this sort of mental stuff that gets in the way, but that's The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Uh, he wrote The Legend of Bagger Vance, and it was like 17 years or something before he got his first paid gig as a writer, and he did like some shitty movie he thought was good and no one liked it and all this stuff, uh, like a script for it, and you know, he's super famous now and all this stuff, and what it really comes down to is it's not about any of that, right? It's about uh, winning this battle against all the resistance that comes up. And, you know, it's like the book, I read it audio form. It's less than three hours, even at 90% speed on audiobook form. And uh, it changed my life. You know, I read it something like six times in the first month and a half after I first read it. Uh, it's really, really, really good. So The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. I can't recommend that high enough. I'll put a link to, you know... It somewhere in the description and yeah just get back out there and like keep making sounds keep making beats keep uh programming new things like just whatever it is that you you aren't doing right just do it and do a, a terrible job at it if you have to right but do it so uh, best of luck to all you guys uh keep at it and um yeah take care kids and keep keep uh making making that art for the world mm -hmm.